Welcome back to Ether Race. This is week 163, day two. Uh, we're gonna jump into the battle uh, because, you know, same reason as always. Oh, uh, I did change up this team. I switched out um, uh, Edelgard in. So now this team scores properly and it's still um, because the way Edelgard works is not Kanto, but it's still able to do the same thing. Um, yeah, so let's get started. We have Magnus in a free match. So yeah, this is pretty much a free match. I mean, at least they left some <laughs> their weapons in there. The ether is easier to get. I mean, I'm not going to complain about fishing match. But I can actually take the opportunity to show you how the team is supposed to work at the very least. For Lord Oscar. All right. So, yeah. Let's plus make sure not to do anything dumb because Losing this match would be extremely embarrassing. Alright, so really? we'll move you here. I wonder. We That's can move logical. you here. To victory. Uh Efren can be right there. Ready. Time to go. The glimmer of life. Alright, so basically the way this team is supposed to work is I'll consider it. you can hit things like this. So A3 is able to do this. And because for Kanto, she's able to move out. And then you have Ephraim that is able to do things like this. And then move out. So I just want to be careful of you. So we can actually leave him there because he has stupid amount of stats. Because this is only, I, I don't understand this. Understood. But hey, I guess. It is. Mm, I don't know. I don't understand this thing. Yeah. Huh. I actually think losing would be harder than winning a match like this. Because if Efren is hitting 51 speed and 81 attack. Edelgard is hitting 42 speed, double 60s. That's logical. Yeah, I think this Point is extremely. I'm going in. I don't even know how you could lose a match like this, to be honest. Time to go. I wonder. Anyway, um, okay, let's just finish this. Good morning. Meant to move you right here. But yeah, it's basically like this. It just lets you teleport and then move out with Kanto. Understood. Huh. Alright, so that's that. Um, not the most exciting of matches to watch, but <laughs> what can I do? I mean, I 
at least we did get both eaters so um so let's take a look at the defenses right now we have two of them and both are success so hey, yay for us so we have a peony with gale dance fury wings mercy mumbo brave lucina plus six is the form of soul um with rally death rest ether disencounter Odd Pulse Tie, Joint Dread Speed, and Disengar. Uh, they got some really good skills at the Forma. We have a plus 2 Mila with Fortress Death Rest in the A slot. Rally Death Rest, so thanks to being a bonus unit, she hits a lot of defense. Plus 10, plus 20 Summoner Supported Bike with Distance Stance. No follow up, Death Rest Menace, Quick Repose. So this is a stack Ike. Then you have Ash plus seven. So they went all out on that banner. Uh, reposition bonfire and bracing stance. And finally Uller plus two with smite no seal. Brought up max level dark shrine. So just bait with Ike. In goes Lina, which only does 18 damage. And there's no damage reduction on, the, on that head, so. And this. However, what she did do is break his quick repose. And Guntra survives. So from here they use Uller to take out Guntra. And unfortunately, Ike is no longer within two spaces of Lucina. Johnny was still being millard, so my feet stand firm. They got asphalt, gamble a trap just to take out Saltis. However, because of that trap being so high level. They were forced to use Mela to tank, so Triandra just takes her out. Then Nod takes out Peony. Time to sleep. And Peony takes out Uller. And yeah, that was pretty much enough for them. They don't really have a way to get to Triandra, so pretty much they will lose another unit. There's no way they can survive. And then this one, which is pretty interesting, because it's not something you see every day anymore. So we have an air, shove, no seal, puller plus one, a uh, drawback and sturdy blow, plus one mila, a uh, rally death rest, no seal. Actually, no, she comes with that death rest, mumbo, no seal. We have a plus 10 Mordecai with smite, bonfire, steady stance, attack defense link, and quick repose. Plus 10, plus 15, Summoner supported Tiburn 
Reposition Gale Force, Sturdy Impact, Desperation, Heavy Blade. And a plus 10, plus 4, Summoner Supported uh, Kanagis with Swap, Ether, Decent Defense 4, Vengeful Fighter, Far Save, and Close Defense. So, I have not seen a Far Save Kanagis. Like, at all. This is probably the very first Kanagis with Far Save that I've ever seen in an AR match. Unfortunately, they don't have a lot of places to run. And I believe their lowest defense unit should be... Yeah, it's air. So air gets hit with minus uh, 7 to all. And then everybody else gets hit with minus 7 to... Uh, minus 7 to what? Attack and rest. Uh, I guess only up to Mila. But you're getting hit with Dark Shrine. Guntra survives the hit and takes kind of gets out. And that was good enough for them. Alright, so yeah. We are in the new day. I didn't even collect my stuff. As you can see, the only thing I I do now is tomatoes. I have a whole lot of tomatoes. Uh, but yeah, I did say I was probably going to play two matches today, so let's just do the second match right now. Mm. Alright, we have a uh, mystery. Mystery. Uh, okay, a little more involved plus one Veronica wind sweep with 57 speed LA trash with a rally okay I guess that's so he can go this way Jill wings of mercy gale force Sothis, play session. So who do we have for a team like this? I guess we do have... So on this team over here, you have Quick Repose. So you can stop Elliewood. But Veronica is not. And then I don't think I can outspeed a Selena. Not on this team anyway. Does 48 with 5. Puts me at 53. Piani gives me an extra 4. Puts me at 57. Hmm. So, this might be a way to show you like what I mean about the Gale Force thing. Because mm. it would just be breaking this, and then I can teleport from like here to here, but I will not be able to teleport out farther than this part. In this spot, even and it technically doesn't look at teleport now, it's just regular canto, which is technically what it is, just regular canto at that point. So, I'll be able to move here, 
then you go one two three and then you could fly to dance or I guess you could go one two and then over here then one two three Yeah, you'll be the one who attacks if I put you here. If I put like somebody to tank over here without no follow up, which I don't have no follow up on anything this week. So I'm gonna, we'll use this team again. We'll leave Ephraim over here and we'll make a move to go this way. Since we just gotta destroy stuff on the first turn, nothing much I can do. The glimmer of life. Truly? I'll consider it. I wonder. Ready! Death's caress. I'll consider it. That's logical. I'm going in. Your plan. I understand. Yep, she can't kill anybody. There's only one rally. Alright, so we just need to kill things. I'll consider it. The A3 way. Yes. So I can kill Triandra right now. Time to go. Your plan. And I wonder Edge can take on Selena. Understood. Right, so we'll do that. Not a lot of space for I me to move, object. but we can do it. things like this. <sighs> there goes their dancer. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're gonna move you out of the way. The glimmer of life. Yes. So we can do it like this, I guess. Fortunately, we have to move Edelgar over there. So we can do this. Lord Asker, guide us. Oh. Ha. And bye bye. That's logical. What turn is this? This is turn four, three. So I have one more turn of Kanto. I'll consider it. Hmm. I'm gonna take out two units, but I need to be. I need to leave somebody alive. That's. But who? I think Veronica is gonna have to be the one that's left alive. Death's caress. 
So how can I kill you and you in this turn? Because I need to leave Veronica alive and I need to make sure that Peony is nowhere near uh, Danger Zone. And then I can open up the path to let Elliewood come down over here. Although Veronica can reach there. One, two, three. She can reach here. So I also have to be careful of Veronica killing I'm going in. Ephraim. Hmm. So Jill will probably kill anything that she hits. So I have to be careful of Jill. Because I can have air break this right here. And then A3 go hit Jill. And move back one. Or move back two. So I can dance her and move over here and take a Sotis. And that leaves Peony over here. So you won't be able to reach her. And you won't be able to reach Elliewood. I mean, you won't be able to reach A3 either. Because you go 1, 2, and 3. And then I have to find a way to kill you while still staying away from Veronica. Alright. Yes. 42 speed, 43 speed, 50 speed. The glimmer of life. Panic is gonna not affect Death's caress. air. Alright. Yes. I really don't have much of a play right here other than that. Death's caress. Alright, so that has to go. That's logical. Take you out. Come over here. Good morning. Truly? I'll consider it. Lord Asker, guide us. I do not object. Hmm. I still think A3 would be safer to live against Veronica. That's logical. She does zero damage. I only have a plus three buff. Yeah. I'll consider it. How thoughtless. Time to go. Your plan. Truly? Time to go. To victory. Understood. All right. Ephraim must die. I wonder. I mean, Elliewood must die, not Ephraim. We don't want that Ephraim to die. <laughs> no more canto. All right. Your plan. Lord Asker, guide us. Time to go. Maybe this way. Your plan. Understood. 
56 res 1 2 3 you can hit over here time to go fifty six res forty seven attack plus seven because you will keep these debuffs no you will not have these debuffs because those are from you attacking and getting panic so fifty one plus seven is fifty eight your plan Understood. 56 is gonna remain because I'm gonna get rid of the panic manner. So I go. should be fine. The glimmer of life. Yes. As for air. Death's caress. I understand. I'm more worried about Veronica killing Ephraim in. than anything else. Because he needs to reach over here. I guess... I could break this, I, I could break this, and then put the air right life. here. To victory. Yes. All right, she, mm, yeah, because a3 is all about the um, your plan all right we can still kill Veronica Understood. even if she has miracle That's logical. I do not object all right. I'm going in you can break this the and get this eater If I hit you now, it will not have... Okay, I know how to do this. Watch. I'll consider it. We'll go over here to break this. Which Time lets me hit you. Ready. Then I dance you. That's get the ether. Your plan. And finish you off. That was pretty interesting. But yeah, the power of uh, being able to teleport and then Kanto is just extremely powerful. Alright, that puts us like top 3k, which doesn't really matter. Uh, even though it's technically day three on this one i'm gonna count this still at stage two because uh there will be a bit review i guess later today on thursday um which will be day three and then um like i said uh christmas eve i will not be playing i will not be uploading a video and then on the 25th christmas day we'll have a video like normal and we'll finish the week like normal Nothing else came in. Uh, for summoning, we'll see if there's anything new. All right, so the first Christmas banner is here. Uh, I don't think I, I still think I don't have a Chrome on this account. So we'll go for green. Maybe we'll get a Chrome or a Lisa or a three star. Ross. I 
All right, so the only other thing that's left to talk about is that we know who's going to be on the legendary banner. And it's very interesting because our legendary hero for this month is... Legendary female Byleth. Yeah, I don't think anybody saw this coming. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna say nobody saw this coming. Legendary female Byleth. Now, she is not the same as male Byleth. For starters, she's green. I mean, he's green and she's blue. Uh, she does not have um, heavenly whatever his special is. She just have Rupture Sky like uh, normal Byleths, but um, her weapon instead, like male Byleths, gives him no follow up in his weapon. Female Byleth gives no guard in her weapon. And she has a unique C skill that gives you no follow up. So, technically, if you have a unit with Null C Disrupt in their B-slot and female Byleth within two spaces, they will have no follow-up, no guard, no C Disrupt, all into one, which is extremely insane. And she's going to be a very popular unit on defense teams because of the no guard. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and I guess we're getting Resplendent uh, S next month. I did not notice until just right now. So let's see if the artwork is live. Uh, she looks like um, Leoseheimer. Uh, Essa Force, she's from Macedonia, White Wings, she's dressed in Leosa form. So yeah, she's a Leosa Heimer. And she's the very first one of the White Wings that gets... No, is she? Do we have Resplendent Katria? I know Pala, we don't have Resplendent Pala, but... And then there's the big thing that... Um, might bother some people is that starting now we will be able to spark on legendary and mythic banners as well as special banners according to this so after so many four times or more in special legendary and mythic and other type of so many events you'll also receive a list each time you redeem one of these free summons just you do when you summon a five star hero of your choice without the fe pass so if you have fe pass you will be able to spark on every new banner not new heroes banner because you could already do that in new heroes but like every special double special legendary mythic banners and this is how it's going to look and now i have fe pass so to me this is a benefit so I really can't speak to like people who don't have Fepas, how they feel about it. I have no problem with it because again, I already have Fepas and I've been paying for Fepas every month. So this is good for me because I have Fepas. But your mileage may vary, uh, whether especially how you feel about Fepas if you're like someone who's against it already so this is definitely not uh this is probably gonna bother you a lot but uh, i don't know i i like it it gives me a chance to get the legendary the mythic of that month when i have had a lot of trouble getting the mythic for that month like the a uh, so this will help me out plus it will let me get some merges on certain heroes that i want um 
So for example, on here, I will go full circles. Uh, if I get female Bilef uh, and male Bilef, because male Bilef is also on this banner, which neither one of them I have. So, hey, that's good for me. If not, then I can spark. I can spark for her. And then if I don't spark for female Bilef, I could spark for Ash to build my merges. Uh, yeah, like this is, there's no downsides for if you already have the fit pass. But again, if you don't have the fit pass, this is, uh, I don't know. I don't know how you'll feel about this. You'll have to let me know if you're someone who doesn't like fit pass. So how does this make you mad or something like that? I don't know. I can't say. And I guess we're getting uh, nine summon tickets for what? Okay, so we're going to be getting some tickets for the legendary hero Balef. First summon tickets, each of the following three summon events that will be held on that day for a total of nine tickets. So three for the Heroes Revival America Fest Miracle, three for Gorilla's Gifts, and three for the... Legendary Balef banner. So there you go. Those are your news for today. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you think about it. Uh, especially if you're someone who doesn't have a pass. Um, but yeah, like I said, for me, it's a benefit. I already have a pass. I've already been using it since pretty much since it started. So it's just better for me. But again... If you're someone who's against fair pass or doesn't have fair pass, let me know how you feel about it. Uh, but other than that, uh, thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.